Okay, so today I'm going to do two on the front and two on the back of this sheet. Um, so we are given the limit of the Riemann sum, and then we are going to write the definite integral that corresponds to that. So we would start, oh, first, there is a typo on here. Um, th this should have an I after the six. Now don't let it um, worry you that this uses I instead of K. That, that's perfectly fine. It's no big deal. Okay, so our definite integral is going to have our integral notation. Um, because nothing is added or subtracted to this uh, 6i over n, um, I know that my lower limit is 0. And then my delta x is 6 over n, so that would mean that my upper limit would be 6. So when I subtract those, I get 6. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and in the place of this 6i over n, I'm going to put an x. So it would be the square root of 2x plus 1. And then at the end, we always have a dx. Okay. On number 2, um, because of this two right, negative 2 right here, I do know my lower limit is negative 2. And then <clears throat> I know that when I subtract <clears throat> my upper and lower, I should get 5. So a quick way to find B is to take that negative 2 and add 5 to it, which is going to give us 3. All right. And then just in your head real quick, you can do 3 minus negative 2 is 5, so we're good. And then in the place of everything that is in the parentheses, I'm going to put X. So it's going to be x squared minus 3, and then a dx at the end. Okay, and then on the next page, oh, sorry, I have to do a... On the back, we are going to do a couple of things. So one thing is we're going to have the definite integral. We're going to write the limit of a Riemann sum. And then we're going to go back to some old things that we, we did before and then find the used um, areas to find the value of the definite integral. All right, so let's just start with the Riemann sum. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of the summation of k equals 1 to n. Now, this time, our um, function is just negative 2. So we're looking um, at the definite integral from 12 to 16. We're looking at this area right here. All right, so it's a horizontal line at negative 2. So all we really have to do is negative 2 times... 4 over n. This is your this is your height times your width. All right, and then the value of that we could just find the area of that rectangle. So it's going to be two times four, which is eight. Now because it's underneath the x-axis, that's going to be negative 8. All right. <clears throat> now let's look at the next one. This one is kind of complicated. So we're going, <clears throat> we're going from 3 to 9. So we're looking at that area right here, this little area. <clears throat> Right, it does tell you in the words that this is this is a half circle. Okay, so let's see if we can do this limit. Okay, so our delta x. is going to be um, 9 minus 3 over n or 6 over n. 
right, our a is 3. Okay, so um, we have to worry with the, the x part right there. So I'm still going to have the 4 minus the square root. I'm still going to have the 9 minus. <clears throat> but in the place of x, I'm going to do a plus 6k over n. All right, and then I still have that minus 6, and it's still going to be squared. And then I'm going to do my delta x. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, now let's go up and let's look at this area. So what we really have is a rectangle with a semicircle subtracted away from it. All right, so the area of that rectangle is 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 times 6, which is 24. All right, and then I need to subtract the semicircle away. Um, and so the semicircle is half, <clears throat> half of the area of a circle. So it's going to be 1 half pi r squared. Our r is 1, 2, 3. All right, so we're going to subtract. Uh, looks like it's going to be 9 pi over 2. All right, and that's all. That's how we're going to leave it. All right. Now, before I get off here, I just wanted to tell you some things to study for your quiz tomorrow. <coughs> One thing <clears throat> that is going to be on the quiz is a, something like this right here. You'll be given um, a shape like a function like this or something like this, and you'll be told to find um, a definite integral using those areas where if it's below the x-axis you subtract, if it's above the x-axis you add. So um, be, be able to do that tomorrow. <clears throat> All right, some old papers that you need to look over is numbers 7 through 10 on the second 6.3 packet. Okay, be sure you know the over and under approximation rules. And then on topic 6.2 day one, be able to do ones like numbers four through six. Those are the table problems where you're doing some kind of Riemann sum, or midpoint, left or right Riemann sum. All right, so these are the things to study for your quiz tomorrow. And your assignment is to finish this worksheet.